Hello everyone, we gonna start our new series that's electrotherapy as you all know. Let's dive into this uh, first 25 questions. So question number one. Microcurrent therapy typically uses currents below. Option A, 1 microampere. Option B, 10 microampere. Option C, 100 microampere. Option D, 1000 microampere. And the answer is Option A, 1 microampere. Now let's move to question number 2. High frequency transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation that stands is primarily used for Option A muscle strengthening Option B pain relief by gait control theory Option C reducing edema Option D wound healing And the answer is Option B pain relief by gait control theory Now let's move to question number 3 the primary physiological effect of interferential current that's IFC is Option A deep tissue penetration due to amplitude modulation Option B superficial heating Option C direct muscle contraction Option D nerve depolarization blockade And the answer is Option A deep tissue penetration due to amplitude modulation Now let's move to question number 4 ST curve can that's strength duration curve can Option A. Distinguish between innovation and de-innovation. Option B. Distinguish between innovated and de-innovated but cannot quantify the state of innovation. Option C. Distinguish innovated and de-innovated and quantify the state of innovation. Option D. None. And answer is Option C. Distinguish innovated and de-innovated and quantify the state of innovation. Now let's move to question number 5. The your base is Option A, maximum tolerable current for a nerve impulse at long duration. Option B, minimum current for a nerve impulse at short duration. Option C, minimum current for a nerve impulse at long duration. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is, Option C, minimum current for a nerve impulse at long duration. Now let's move to question number 6. Vision current is characterized by, Option A, 50 Hz frequency with 10 is to 50 duty cycle. Option B, 2500 Hz frequency burst modulated at 50 bursts per second. Option C, 1 Hz frequency with continuous DC. Option D, 100 Hz frequency with 100 duty cycle. And the answer is, Option B, 2500 frequency burst modulated at 50 bursts per second. Now let's move to question number 7. Strength duration curve is also known as Option A. Intensity time curve Option B. Strength stimulus curve Option C. Faraday curve Option D. IDC curve And answer is Option A. Intensity time curve Now let's move to question number 8. Strength duration curve basically indicates about Option A. Innovation status Option B. Muscle physiology Option C. Muscle anatomy Option D. Muscle pathology And the answer is Option A. Innovation status now let's move to question number 9. Presence of kink in strength duration curve suggests Option A. Partial innovation Option B. Partial de-innovation Option C. Both of above Option D. None of above And the answer is Option C. Both of above Now let's move to question number 10. Positive sharp waves are formed in Option A. De-innovation Option B. Innovation Option C. Regeneration Option D. Myositis And the answer is Option A, de-innovation. Now let's move to question number 11. Physiological effect of cryotherapy is Option A, reduce blood flow. Option B, reduce local temperature. Option C, reduce metabolism. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 12. The strength duration curve shifts to the right in. Option A, partial de-innovation. Option B, complete de-innovation. Option C, normal innovation. Option D, hyper excitable nerves. And the answer is Option B, complete de innovation. Now let's move to question number 13. Effect of cryotherapy on smooth muscle is Option A, increase smooth muscle contraction. Option B, decrease smooth muscle contraction. Option C, both of above. Option D, none of above. And the answer is Option A, increase in smooth muscle contraction. Now let's move to question number 14. Cryotherapy indicates pain is felt with cooling below. Option A 15 degree, Option B 10 degree, Option C 5 degree, Option D 0 degree. And the answer is Option B 10 degree. 
Now let's move to question number 15. A patient with cardiac pacemaker should avoid which electrotherapy modality? Option A, low frequency tens. Option B, IFC, that's interferential current. Option C, both A and B. Option D, neither A or nor B. And answer is Option C, both A and B. Now let's move to question number 16. Amount of cooling can be explained with Option A, Lewis reaction. Option B, Lewis Hamilton reaction. Option C, Newton's law of cooling. Option D, all of above. And the answer is Option C, Newton's law of cooling. Now let's move to question number 17. Cryotherapy works by Option A. Conduction evaporation. Option B. Evaporation conduction. Option C. Both of above. Option D. None of above. And the answer is Option C. Both of above. Now let's move to question number 18. Which waveform is most effective for edema reduction? Option A. Monophasic pulsed current. Option B. Symmetrical biophasic. Option C. Asymmetrical biophasic. Option D. Alternating current. And the answer is Option A, monophasic pulsed current. Now let's move to question number 19. Therapeutic laser is applied with Option A, point probe. Option B, cluster probe. Option C, both of above. Option D, none of above. And the answer is Option C, both of above. Now let's move to question number 20. Galvanic current is most commonly used for Ionophoresis. Option B, muscle re-education. Option C, reducing muscle spasm. Option D, trigger point release. And the answer is Ionophoresis. Now let's move to question number 21. Laser acronym was coined by Option A, Albert Einstein. Option B, Gordon God. Option C, Flock and Zwang. And Option D, Todor Neiman. And the answer is Option B, Gordon Gold. Now let's move to question number 22. Coherence formed in therapeutic laser is Option A, spherical. Option B, temporal. Option C, both of above. Option D, none of above. And the answer is Option C, both of above. Now let's move to question number 23. Therapeutic laser is applied at site of pain. Option B, tender spot. Option C, trigger point. Option D, all of above. And the answer is Option D, all of above. Now let's move to question number 24. The word diatomy was coined by Option A, Nagel's Knit. Option B, Arnold Scott. Option C, Van Hoff. Option D, Tedor Meemann. And the answer is Option A, Nagel's Knit. Now let's move to question number 25. The accommodation phenomena in nerve stimulation refers to Option A. Progressive decrease in nerve excitability despite constant current. Option B. Increased nerve firing rate with higher frequencies. Option C. Enhanced conduction velocity in myelinated fibers. Option D. Reduced action potential threshold over time. And the answer is Option A. Progressive decrease in nerve excitability despite constant current. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. I'll be back with part 2 in the next week. Wait till then. Bye-bye. Thank you.